Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike here. I know I'm not in my normal area that I usually am when I do my videos. I had to go pick up the kids on the way uh, after their school today. I did a bunch of stuff this morning. I was really trying to get a video cranked out at the house, but it just didn't work out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this while I'm driving to go pick up my kids from school. Don't worry. I will keep looking at the road. I will try to remain safe. And if I do get in an accident, it should make for an interesting video. All right. So over the last year, I have heard many things about what kind of articles to write, what kind of articles to stay away from. And a cornerstone of that is monthly search volume estimations. They seem to play a part in a lot of people's role when it comes to what articles they're gonna write. And so I wrote lots of articles, some with zeros, some with thousands and thousands of monthly search estimations. And it's the end of the year and I got to look at all my 2021 traffic <clears throat> and I got to get a consensus about what you actually can get out of these search volume, these lower search volume articles. So I gathered all the results. I'm gonna show you three different examples, not just three URLs, but three different websites. A high competition website, a medium competition website, and a low competition website. All of them have what I consider to be pretty shocking results regarding search volume estimations versus what you actually get. And so I'm gonna share those numbers with you today. All right, so if you don't know, or if you've never tried to do it, or you're a new blogger and you're not sure what I'm talking about, monthly search volume estimations are just what they sound like. You can get a plugin for your uh, internet browser, a free plugin from Ubersuggest or SEMrush or SEO Surfer. There's lots of different plugins you can use. And what they will do is they'll install on your browser. And then when you type in a search query, a search term, a search phrase into Google, in that Google box, it'll pop up a monthly search volume estimation. Now, depending on whether you're using Ubersuggest or SEMrush or whatever you're using, they tend to fluctuate in volume a little bit, but not a lot. Generally, they're pretty close to each other. And when you're a new blogger, a lot of people will tell you if it's got, you know, a thousand or more search volume estimations or 500 or more search volume estimations, you should write it because there's at least enough traffic if you get that spot to get some traffic on your website. And what I also heard was if it's zero search volume to 50 search volume, but it really zero, don't bother writing it because if it's showing zero as a search volume estimation, then you're probably not going to get any traffic at all. It's not gonna be worth writing the article. You'll get one or two trickle-ins from these and that'll be it. And I heard that and it sounded very reasonable to me because I mean, if these big multi-million dollar companies are estimating that it gets, this search term gets zero volume estimation, well, that's probably correct, right? So you flipped on me. I'm gonna hold this while I go around this corner. So because I was a new blogger, and like some of you guys are new bloggers, you're having a hard time getting traction, you're having a hard time finding traffic, you're competing with all these sites, you're not ranking, and it's frustrating. So I decided when I started blogging, I was gonna try a lot of different techniques. I was gonna try the popular ones that are recommended by the gurus, and I was gonna try things that I thought I would just try and see what happens. Um, I have a theory about everything in life, not just blogging, and that is when you listen to the crowd and they say it must be done this way, you're missing an opportunity to find a new way. And I found a new way with these articles. So I'm gonna quit yapping about uh, what search volume estimations are and why I got into them. That's just a quick rundown. Let's get into what matters the most, which is the numbers. All right, so let's start with a very high competition niche. So for those of you who follow my channel, you know that my very first blog was in the camping niche. And so I was writing articles about best sleeping bag, best lantern, best X for Y, all the typical affiliate blogging type of articles. Um, and over time, my, my keyword research has really evolved and now I go for lower search volume estimation words and I go for much more longer tail things. And um, so nonetheless, this is the results from between zero and 50 search volume estimations. Um, the first URL has a search volume estimation of 40 monthly searches. In the last three months, so the last 90 days, I got 415 clicks via Google Search Console. So over 90 days, you split that up by, by three months, really. Then I was getting around 
just under 150 clicks a month and they estimated 40. So about three times what they estimated. That's pretty good, right? It gets way better. All right, um, the next one from the high competition niche on a crappy low domain site was search volume estimation of 20. And in the last 90 days it received 417. So also about 150 a, a month there. Um, and then I have the third URL from this one, and I just grabbed the top few in Search Console for the last 90 days. There's a lot of these articles that are performing like this. Um, the next URL has a search volume estimation of zero. I'm in Wyoming. The next one has a search volume estimation of zero. It receives 638 clicks over a 90 day period. So you click, you, you space that out per month. That's about a little over 200 clicks per month on a search volume estimation of zero. It gets better. All right, site number two. This is a site in the dog niche, pet breed specific uh, blog. I write about one type of pet breed and some similar types of breeds. But I would say this is a medium competition niche. This site, while it does rank well on page one of Google for most of my articles, authority sites always take the snippet for the most part. Um, AKC, you know, the American Kennel Club, um, the Spruce Pets, um, Dog Time. There's a lot of very big websites that have high authority and they take a lot of the spots. So keep that in mind. Most of these URLs I'm about to read you are between the two and four position, two to five position in Google and the SERPs. They don't have number one, they don't have the snippet. All right, URL number one, a 30 search volume estimation. So they, they estimate 30 searches per month for this term. I received in the last 90 days, 1,084. So you break that up. Now we are going over over 300 searches a month, or th excuse me, over 300 clicks a month from that search term that has a zero, or excuse me, that has a 30 search volume estimation count. All right, next URL has a zero search volume estimation, received 1,013, over 300 clicks a month. So we're 300 timing what they think it is. Um, the next URL from the dog website, zero search estimation, I got 1,131. So now we're over 300 clicks a month. Um, next URL, zero search volume estimation, I got 1,216 clicks over a 90 day period. So now we're at 400 clicks, a, or, yeah, 400 clicks a month for a search term, not ranking number one, not in the snippet, and still getting over 400 clicks a month. All right, now here's where it gets good. The next one is from my grilling blog, which is a less competitive niche, um, but it's been killing it with these zero search volume terms. All right, so term number one said 70 search volume estimations based on these plugins. My actual results over 90 days, 3,378. 3, 3,378 over 90 days, that's over 1,000 clicks per month on a search term they said gets 70 clicks a month, or 70 searches a month. Next URL, 50 search volume estimation, received 2,503. That's over 800 clicks a month on a 50 search volume term. Next one, 70, or, Zero search volume, zero search volume estimation, actual over 90 days, 3,876. Now we're over 1,200 clicks a month on a zero search term. And the best one I had on this website had a search volume estimation of 70, and the results I got over 90 days were 4,050. And they estimate 70 search terms a month in Google, yet I got over 4,000 clicks in 90 days. Guys, I'm not saying everyone out there is wrong and I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm the only person who's right out there. But I will say this, look around the blogging landscape. There's good nuggets of information everywhere and it's sprinkled in with bad nuggets of information. It's your job to independently think and think about what you can do, what makes sense to you and take some chances. Try things that people say don't work. Try things that go against the grain of what the crowd's doing. Now don't throw your whole effort into that, you'll probably fail. But try little things here and there, measure your results and see if it was worth it. Taking my grilling site for example, one, two, three, five articles, none of them have a search volume estimation over 50 or 70 per month and combined they got 
over 17,000 views, five articles with zero to 70 search volume estimations. So if you're a new blogger, you've written some articles, the best of, best X for Y, the review of products, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, and you're not getting any traction or you're buried, your average position is 30, 40, 50, or you're on page two or three, and you just don't know what to do to break into that number one spot, get on those front pages of Google, what you need to do, I'll leave a link down below, it's an affiliate link, but I use this every day, or you don't even have to use it, you can go to Google and try it yourself, but here's what you need to do. Get a free plugin, your search volume estimations, type in your seed keyword, look at the Google also asks, look at other suggested questions, or go to keywordchef.com, enter in your seed keyword, get the search engine or get the SERP results, update them, and then filter them based on how many openings there are. And all those ones with a green number next to it, I don't care if it says zero search volume, write those articles. And if you don't believe me, just write three, write five, and come back in three months and see what happens, six months, see what happens. I'm telling you guys, it's changed how I blog. I think it's effective. And I'm still gonna write the best of, best X for Y and the review articles. They're all still there. But if you want some easy wins, lower competition, the stuff the big sites don't care about because they're using search volume estimations too and they're relying on it because of their huge numbers, well, this is a chance for the little guy, little gal to come in and take some of that traffic, get your you know, 30, 50,000 visitors a month on some low competition terms and start making some money. Hope this was helpful, guys. I'll talk to you later. Kids are getting out of school in two minutes. I'm pulled over on the side of the road and I gotta go get them. Talk to you later.